Welcome back everybody. It's been a hot minute since our last video. We've been crazy busy for the last few months. Yeah, it's been busy work season for me, so I've been gone every other weekend at dance competitions, so we have not traveled anywhere. Yeah, it's been hectic. So we've been trying to make something work, we just haven't had the time. But we are in Cartagena, Colombia now. Mm -hmm. We had a quick layover last night in Panama City. We only had a couple hours, so we just booked a nice hotel by the airport, kind of reset, got ready for the trip. And honestly, I know that the um, layover to South America veers a lot of people away, and you can get um, direct flights, but they are more expensive. So our flights were 503 Canadian dollars each, yeah. um, which was fairly reasonable. And we did have a layover. However, it was a very smooth flight both ways. We flew with Copa Airlines and we loved it. Yeah, they were, they were fantastic. Lots of leg room which is great for me being tall. Mm -hmm. um, drinks Meals and food and included, in-flight entertainment which we're not used to considering how often we travel we fly a lot of cheap airlines. Mm -hmm. So that was a nice treat. Yeah. Uh, we just checked into our Airbnb. We have a unit here at Morrow City which is right on the beach. There's a ton of Airbnbs in here. We're this on the 18th floor. There are 41 floors in this building, so we're about halfway up. And the pricing's great. We paid 420 Canadian for three nights. Ocean view, private pool, private gym. Two it's bathrooms, great. kitchen. Yeah, so there's lots to pick from in this building. If you're interested in this specific one, we'll drop the link down below. Mm -hmm. They were great. At, we got in well before our check-in time, so. Yeah, we got in around 11 a.m. this morning and check-in was supposed to be three, so we got really lucky there. Yeah. yeah. We're about a half hour walk from the old walled city and get some money, which is pretty central. It's an easy walk. You can taxi or Uber as well. It's pretty cheap here. You're maybe three to five bucks to get down there. Yeah. From the airport, it cost, it was about a 15 minute drive. Yeah. And our Uber from the airport to here was how much after tip? 10 bucks. So yeah. Pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. So we are about to make our way down to get some money to check it out. Yeah. It's very, very bright. Tons of color down there. We're gonna go to, I'm gonna butcher the name, Park Centenario, I believe. They've got some really neat wildlife, which you wouldn't expect in the middle of the city, but there's a sloth or two. Mm -hmm. A couple monkeys. So we're gonna go see what we can track down. The sloths are apparently kind of hard to see, so yeah. we'll do our best. <laughs> It's hot. It's really hot. It's 38 degrees today, but it feels like 43 and the air is thick. Yeah, I'm like fully soaked through my shirt already. Yeah, it's very humid out, but it's fantastic. I love the heat. I would choose the heat any day over the cold, so yeah. I'm gonna quit complaining. The park's really neat. Um, the sloths and monkeys are super easy to find. I mean, the sloths, you're gonna see people looking at them, so just look for people pointing into the tree. Yeah, but there, it's not like it's like a one of those tourist traps where there's like dozens of people around. When at least you say people, right now, yeah. it's a Monday afternoon. When but. you say people, there was like four people looking at a sloth and tree, but yeah. it was so cute. Yeah, and then was there was really nobody cute. looking at the monkeys actually. No, we, we just, just had someone walk to... by and point them out. Yeah. But there was like there's so many people in here all the time that know where they are. They can show you. They might be looking for a little bit of change and exchange to show you where they are but it's the easiest way to find them. I mean, you can just look up in the trees and find them pretty easily, but the monkeys are a little harder because they're tiny. Yeah. But they're so darn cute. <laughs>
that brings us to the end of our highlights in the walled city and get tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> get tsunami. So that is the. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Uh, okay, I'm good. Focus. <laughs> that is the end of our highlights of Cartagena's Old Walled City and Getsemani. Or Getsunami, like I tried to pronounce it. Um, okay, highlights. What was your favorite part? Honestly, my favorite part was just wandering around Getsemani at night tonight. Mm -hmm. It's really a glance into the culture here. It's and it really so comes fun. alive. It's yeah. so much busier at night than it is during the day. It's much cooler too. You're not walking around in the beating sun all day. I really enjoy the sun. The sun really got to Anthony. He was very hot and bothered today. Yeah. After you're but out in the blazing sun for like five, six hours straight, it starts to get to you. Anyways, that has nothing to do with the walled city or get too much. No. But um, I really enjoyed them both. They were both very different, a very vibrant and colorful. Um, there's a lot of cool artwork um, in get Um That's great. The evening yeah. was a lot of fun. There's just so much going on. The Walled City is actually really, really cool at night as well. Mm -hmm. It's well lit up. They're both plenty safe. You can wander around, do your thing. I mean, people are going to try and sell you stuff, but no one's going to bother you. Mm -hmm. Even waiting for an Uber right outside, uh, we felt fine. Yeah. Yeah. Not once did I ever feel unsafe day or night walking through there. Um, yeah. yeah. Safe to say we had a blast in Cartagena and we cannot wait to come back. Yeah. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure you drop a like, comment, let us know what you think of the video. We're happy to answer any questions you have. Subscribe if you enjoy it and want to see new stuff weekly. We've got lots to come. Yep. Thanks. Bye, guys.